Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Let's talk about marketing Excel sheets and how to implement it for your own use. Because that was always like science fiction for me. And I actually managed to figure it out today with ChatGPT. I should have done it sooner, but I was thinking, I was watching some streamer talking about PI, like raw materials, planet materials. Um, if you sell tier zero, it will be worth more risk than actually making tier one out of it, out of this. And I want to make a script that will automate this calculation each time I want to check this, if it's true or not. So basically, I'm just learning how to do this in Excel and I actually managed to do it <laughs> exactly how I want it. And I will show you how to do it as well. So first thing is, let's go to Chrome. So API is called if Swagger interface. It's actually written right here for developers but let's go to a spreadsheet you can open new spreadsheet um, and basically go to add-ons um, extensions and app script i will show you how to do javascript code if you click this it will open a new window app script. You will have to log in before you run and give permission to your Google account to use the spreadsheet. spreadsheet. So basically, I asked ChatGPT to help me build the code that will show me the minimum and maximum by types, cell types, and how much there is quantity on the market spreadsheet id this id is unique i will sh i actually can show you because it's a little short on the edges but if you go to a spreadsheet the link like docs.google.com it will have the long like password you need to copy this and put into this script where it says spreadsheet ID. That's all you have to edit. Everything else I will share in a link to chat GPT conversation. Anyway, I made these three items. So if you want to add more, you just have to add them right here. Like like that just add new number and I guess right here as well this is just name that I've written to it so I know what it is in Excel and I will show you as you can see spreadsheet is empty if we run right here execution started and it's already completed if we go back that's it we got minimum selling price, max buying, number of items selling, and number of items buying. So this is for a region of the Forge. Um, there it is, region ID. You can change this to any region you want, Minmatar, Amar, whatever you want, and it will list the items you listed. Um, what else? Oh, to get type ID. This is the type ID. I will show you how to get it. If you go to chat or in Eve Online, let me move this. So basically what I usually do is drag in, paste, 
and just go right click copy go to notepad and paste this in Control v and this is the code you are looking for this is the type id and it even says out of the chat what it is so if we go back this is the type id i think this is the easiest way to get what you want but you can find others in maybe some reddit or some other site maybe even here i didn't have a look yet but that's about it this is what i wanted i will do more spreadsheets more tabs that will calculate um, how many liquids and how much isk is needed to do um, tier 1, tier 2 or stuff like that and if it's actually better to sell raw materials or just tier 1 so that's what I wanted to show you let me know guys what you think I was even playing around with Gesi uh, Gesi API oh, just a sec I will show you how it looks it was another way I was watching this guy flying scorpion and you just have to paste right here this is the code you paste into the cell of the sheet but you need to install an add-on called Gessy and authorize your character to access it you will have to log on into your eve account and if we go back if we copy this i just want to show you what will happen this is it because i'm not selling any items on the market everything right here is empty but if you go back right here and delete these orders as you can see you have a lot of things to to choose like get the current ship type name and id okay if you go maybe we can do it like this uh, yeah so this is ship type id this is gila and this is the gila's name i'm using right now so as you can see it's working so yeah you can both use the gessy api or just the if swagger interface i will paste all the links below you can pick whatever you want um, it's not that hard once you get to it and I hope this video will help you to do it for yourself. Anyway, fly safe guys. Let me know what you think and I will see you soon.